This is part two of our daughter's bedroom project. And now we were looking at storage. We needed to find something that was compact and easy to put things in that wouldn't take up a lot of floor space because her room is a good size, but it's not huge. So we found this old locker at a flea market in our area and it was great to get down to a good price. We, it started out at $80 and we were able to talk it down to 20. And so we grabbed it. It has just minor cosmetic issues, has some rust, That old metal sound takes me back. The only thing that was in the locker were those shelves and that one white tee. But the locker's in pretty good shape. We're really happy for, for $20. It's about six and a half feet tall, 15 inches wide, 18 inches deep. It's gonna be a great addition to her room and not take up a footprint like a dresser or an armoire or something like that. So the first thing to do, or really the only thing to do in this project was just to take the shelving unit out, which were just a couple one buys screwed together there's a little picture inside or a little a sticker that says it's from 1986 it reminds me of my high school locker this is actually the hardest part of the project trying to move it easily you'll notice in my shop in the different videos hopefully that will be coming out in the future that there are always going to be different projects showing up a lot of my friends and family come and use the shop when um, they need to do something and so you'll see different projects in the back you see some ikea bed slats that a friend of mine is turning into a door the big white structure on the right pretty easy to tell but that is a headboard that I'm building for the first project I actually ever built which was a king size bed for uh, our room so what I decided I know there's a lot of different methods of getting rust off I went with 60 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander and it worked really really well I know there are chemicals or there are different stripping techniques I just went with this and so it worked really well I know that watching sanding is not very exciting so I'm trying to speed through it but I just wanted to show really that if you find a piece of furniture or something like this that just needs minor cosmetic fixes, it's super easy. The sander is not expensive and really truly you could do this with a hand sander. It'll just take a little bit longer. I think this entire sequence took about 30 minutes of just trying to fix uh, what was needed, trying to fix the parts that were needed. This is the worst part right here. Again, a couple minutes and it's pretty clean. I went over the inside too just to make sure everything was um, smooth and, and rust free and then stuff I couldn't reach with the orbital sander I just went over with a piece of 80 grit sandpaper the color we decided on was grape it took about four cans of spray paint super easy again take it outside on a nice day and then my wife decided on one can of glitter paint just to make it really pop. And as you can see from there, that color just pops out. She picked a really good color. It was a beautiful day in the spring in our area, so we just let it sit outside and here's a time lapse, letting it dry. And that's it. That was the entire project. Here it is in her bedroom. It is perfect for her space. It is perfect to put different things in. Right now there are winter clothes in it, but I'm sure it'll get filled with other knickknacks and other things. She can hang coats, she can hang purses, anything a little girl needs to accumulate more things. We did the inside and out. If you were to find one of these, you definitely don't have to do that, but we wanted to make the inside and outside match. At the bottom, I put little wood spacer so it wouldn't scratch up our floors. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below or the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again next time.